Hello, and thank you for joining me at Completing Christ as we continue to walk through the book of Colossians. Uh, we made it down to uh, verses 28 and 29 of chapter 1. Let me read those couple of verses to you, make some comments, and we'll dive in. And we're going to look at these two verses, I think, probably over the next three weeks. So uh, Paul says this to the church at Colossae. He says, and We proclaim him, admonishing every man and teaching every man with all wisdom, so that we may present every man complete in Christ. For, the pur for this purpose I also labor, striving according to his power which mightily works within me. Now back years ago, the Lord spoke these verses into my heart. And shortly after the Lord called me to preach in 1983, and this has been kind of the focus of what we believe, what Tina and I believe, that that God, the ways that God wants to use us are they, these three specific things. Over the past 20 years, we have spent traveling and teaching the Christ life, that in Jesus, in Jesus alone, you are complete. And that's what Paul says here. He says, look, that we proclaim him, we admonish every man, we teach every man with all wisdom, with God-given wisdom, using the best possible methods that God allows us to use for people to understand that in Jesus and Jesus alone, you're complete. What does that mean? It means that salvation only comes through Jesus, but life only comes through Jesus. And it's understanding that it's Jesus in me, the hope of glory. Now, that's why I end every video that we do with the, with the simple words, let Jesus be Jesus in you today, because that's the key. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're longing for. Paul says here in verse 29, for this purpose, I also labor according to his power, which works mightily within me. You hear what Paul's saying here? He says, look, this is why I do what I do. This is why I labor that empowered by the Spirit of God to teach the Christ life, to teach that is Christ in you. And here he, he, he he mentions three three ways, you know, uh, that that the Lord is using him and to to speak into the people at Colossae. And I want you to listen to what he says. The first one is Paul says, "We proclaim him that we proclaim Jesus." The word "proclaim" comes from a word that means to declare, but also means to model. That I declare Jesus, I speak Jesus, I speak the truth of the gospel, but I also model it that my life, the life that I live comes in line with what I say, with what the word of God teaches. But I, I have to proclaim Jesus by empowered by the spirit of God and it's by the spirit of God that lives within me that we live the Christ life, that we live, that we live Jesus. Three things I want to mention here about that. Three ways that we strive to declare and to live and to model this for other people. The first one is this, is I do it plainly. It needs to be very, very clear. It needs to be, it needs to be simple. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. Man, when I was thinking through this uh, the past few days, I, I thought about a few verses where uh, in, in Acts chapter 4, where the scripture says that there's no other name ever been given unto heaven by which a man can be saved other than the name of Jesus. I, I thought about John 14, 6, where Jesus himself said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one come to the Father but by me. It's through Jesus and Jesus alone. And then in 2 Corinthians 5, 21, that I refer to often that he, it, the one who knew no sin became my sin so that I could become the righteousness of God. We must plainly proclaim Jesus. There needs to be no doubt that we believe that salvation only comes through Jesus and it's only through the Spirit of God that lives within us that we can live this out. We model that relationship with Jesus with a world that desperately needs to see and desperately needs to hear about Jesus. The second thing is openly. I do it unashamedly. Look, I'm not ashamed of what Jesus has done in my life and what Jesus desires to do 
through my life. You know, over and over again, we see in Scripture that that this relationship with Jesus is to radically change us, and we need to live the Christian life empowered by the Spirit of God with not being ashamed of who we are. I am who I am all because of Jesus. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not ashamed of Jesus. I'm not ashamed of the opportunities that he gives me. I'm not ashamed to proclaim the message of Jesus because it's in Christ and Christ alone that we're saved and it's Christ and Christ alone that we're made complete. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're longing for is Jesus. And the, the third thing is I do it aloud. People need to hear it. People need to hear it. Yes, I've got to model it. But people need to hear a clear explanation of what God has done for you through Jesus and what he's doing in and through your life. I've heard it said many, many times, uh, the, the statement that <clears throat> oftentimes we just live Jesus. And if you have to, use words. I don't believe that. I believe that in all of our lives as believers, as followers of Jesus, we need to proclaim why we are different, why we live like we live, why we do what we do. And there's one reason. There's one reason, and his name is Jesus. No, Paul says, listen to me, church. We proclaim Jesus. How? Empowered by the Spirit of God that lives within us. Through his presence in our life, we declare Jesus. Through his presence in our life, we model Jesus. And we do it very clearly, very plainly. We do it openly, not ashamed of Jesus. And we've been told in our culture, we can't do that. Oh, yes, we can. I can live empowered by the presence of God within me. And I can tell other people because they often ask questions, why I do what I do? why I live like I live, and it's because of Jesus. And we tell people the good news of Jesus. You see, in Christ and Christ alone, we're complete. And that's the message I want you to hear, that, that it's Jesus in me, Jesus in you, the hope of glory. So I encourage you, I challenge you, go proclaim Jesus today. Declare him and model him in a culture that desperately needs to see and hear about Jesus. Have a blessed day and let Jesus be Jesus in you today. Thank you so much for watching Complete in Christ as we strive to teach you about the Christ life. And we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and may you have a blessed day walking with Jesus.